thank you so much for watching. Um, today, this is a really, really quick video. I am going to the Stitch Festival at the weekend and I, have, I haven't had any time to do sewing. It's been a really tricky week. So I haven't done much sewing since my um, tra sewing trousers extravaganza last week. To be honest, I was all sewn out anyway. So I've had a bit of a break and um, I just need to get a couple of things together to sort out my outfit for Saturday. Um, usually at these um, these sewing events, it's a really lovely excuse to to make up something, obviously to wear something me made. But um, on the whole, we tend to wear beautiful flowy dresses in gorgeous colours. So um, this year was no different. I kind of thought, right, yeah, I'm going to make myself a really nice dress. But because I've been so tied up in my trouser making journey, as I call it, it, um, it seems silly not to wear a pair of the amazing Thea trousers that I made last week. So um, just in case you're not aware, this is the Thea pattern. And I made three wearable trousers last week. So there, there was a brown pair and there were the camo pair, which I've got here, and also a floral pair. So um, I like all three pairs. The only two in contention for the Stitch Festival are the camo ones and the, the floral ones, which I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. The the brown ones really, um, um, they're lovely, but they were the first proper pair that I made. And as I said before, I wasn't particularly happy with the top stitching. The fit isn't quite as, as good as these two. And I've, I've actually narrowed the legs for, for both of these um, pairs, which I think just, it just works better for me. I love a wide leg in a, a sort of a flowy fabric, but these are both more of a sort of a canvas type fabric. So um, for me, they work better, slightly narrower. These trousers actually were, um, were inspired by, uh, um, were inspired by a designer pair that I'd seen online. So I will show you a picture of those and you can see what why what the similar similarity is. I'm gonna take this off actually, because I'll talk to you about this in a minute. I'm not gonna wear it as an outfit, don't worry. I was just putting it there just to show you. Um, yeah, so this has got the, the back pockets on it and they're not particularly wide leg. They are, um, well, they are wide leg for me, but that's probably about um, as wide as I wanted to go with these particular trousers. So. Um, the top, as you can see, I had some leftover fabric and in my bid to not have any leftover bits hanging around my um, my sewing room, I've been trying to use them. So yet again, this is an LB pullover, which I, I have worn with jeans. I, I won't wear the two together because it is a bit over the top, um, but it's just such an easy um, top to make with any little bits of leftover fabric that you have. This is again another one that I'm wearing today, sleeveless LB pullover and Derwent trousers which are my um, favourite kind of being at home outfits. In fact I must wear, I must make another pair of these. Literally they're just worn on rotation. So um, yeah so talking of the camo ones, the top that I was thinking of making was the um, DP, it's the French Patent Company, DP le 004 i got it completely wrong last time with the weird pattern pieces the bat wing top and i think that will make a really nice top to go with the trousers um however it's a bit more everyday for me i kind of thought oh, i'm gonna go to the stitch festival in my camo trousers and my beige top and feel a little bit meh because it's more as i say it's sort of more of an everyday type outfit the the fest these um, sewing uh, festivals and sewing shows are brilliant opportunities to to wear something a bit brighter and something different so for me brighter and different is definitely these floral um theater trousers that are made these ones have got just the sort of the more simple patch pockets on the back i adjusted the shape of the pocket and they are slightly wider than the camo ones um so that that's the width of them i haven't hem them yet because I want to make the rest of my outfit to go with them, try them on with the shoes that I'm planning on wearing and then I'll decide what length I want to make them. So in the meantime, I have got to get on with actually making something to go with them. When I showed them in my last video, I put them on with a white t-shirt and this little max tee, which I made last year to go over a dress. I really I really like this and I think still I may well wear this with them but I just need a jacket to go with them. I talked about the fiber mood Flavia which I'll come to in a second. Um I've got 2 meters left so I'm hoping that that might be enough to make the fiber mood um Flavia jacket and I think obviously it goes really really nicely with this. So it may be that it works as a twin set with the trousers. Um 
or ow there's a needle sorry there's a pin in there it's just stuck straight in my leg or um I might make a different top to go underneath but hang on before I move on to that one I'll just show you the the Flavia in a bit more detail so I've got the magazine here these are the line drawings I've looked on Instagram and it's definitely a short cropped length which is exactly what I want because the Thea trousers are so high-waisted I didn't want anything kind of interfering with that too much and it's got these fabulous pleats at the bottom which just which just create as I say which which create the shaping there excuse my state of my nails they need to be done um so you can have it with or without buttons I think I might just because I'm not sure about putting buttonholes in this fabric especially since I haven't got much time left it's Thursday today I've got today and I've got part of tomorrow to get it all finished so um it might be that I'm I just put I've got some magnetic clasps that I put inside and I, again I quite like the minimal look of that so um that's that's the plan is to make one in pink also I talked about making one in this gorgeous quilted jersey fabric so I really do want to make a Flavia in that it depends on time I'm going to go for the pink one first because I think I'm more likely to wear that for the stitch festival because it's quite nice to have a little bit of colour for that isn't it but this would be a definitely a, a more wearable one for me it would go with loads of different um, different trousers and stuff so that's another one so um that's it for now uh the other thing or oh, the other thing I just wanted to show you was a lovely friend of mine her mum used to sew she doesn't sew anymore but she had a few patterns sewing patterns she wanted me to look at and I just picked this one up. I know it's really, really simple, but actually it's sort of, I don't know what year it's from, but I think, look at that one's got, I lo really love the ruffle on the V-neck and also the little ruffles on the sleeve and the fact that it's just a really, really, really sort of slim silhouette. Not sure yet whether it's bias cut or not. It may well be, but I just picked that up and thought that would be a really nice summer dress. So at some point it would be quite nice to get that made. I've also seen, um, it's sort of on the catwalks and stuff it seems to I think it's going to be coming in quite a lot now is to have huge um, flowers and rosettes and stuff so some a simple dress like that with a big floral with a big flower I think would look really quite nice so that's just another idea that I throw in there right I'm going to get on now because um, I have um, I've got to make my jacket and and hem my trousers and just do a few bits and bobs so I will I'll, I'll check in a little bit later and, and see let you see how I get on I may or may not have time to show you the finished outfit before I go so we'll wait and see it'll you'll you might get a bit of a sneak peek and then I will obviously be doing a vlog about the the stitch festival itself so you'll be able to see what I'm wearing then so who knows um I but I will be back in this vlog to show you the progress if not the whole finished article in the meantime take care I'll see you in a bit bye okay so after some absolutely frenetic sewing I have managed to put together the um the fiber mood Flavia jacket in this boucle um I'm not particularly happy with with the pleats on it it's okay um it does need I think it just needs a really good press and a steam that will probably help but it just looks a little bit sort of bulky and messy um the other thing is I made a size small which um as you can see just touches edge to edge so certainly I mean I'd have to pull to put buttons on it or whatever so I did have a dig around in my ribbon stash which I do have a large ribbon stash and found this ribbon which fits perfectly so I was kind of thinking maybe of having a few couple of little bows to tie um, just to keep the shape together so I think that might that might be an option um, that may work to go with it I still haven't as I say haven't hemmed it yet haven't hemmed them yet um, but it's this sort of bulkiness. I don't, I don't know. And this pink suits the trousers, but I'm really not sure whether it suits me. So I went to bed last night thinking, oh, well, I wonder if I can squeeze in the cream, make the cream top today and just, and just see whether that looks any better to go with these. So I have thrown together a cream top today without the pleats. I've altered the the, uh, the pattern piece. I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I'll just hop, I'll just come off and show you the cream jacket um, that I've made without the pleats. So it's just, excuse me a second. <sighs> Ta -da! So this one already straight away feels like it's more me. I have, um, as I say, I've altered it and taken 
the pleats out of the back. So it's all the same technique. But what I did was I got the um, the actual pattern pieces and on the, the paper pattern and just folded the pleats in. It made it a slightly strange pattern shape, but I just sort of squared it off. Um, and, and sort of this is the result. So again, um, it's slightly snug at the bottom, but that's fine because um, I have, I've had a look on online actually and quite a few of them. I quite like that open shape there. So I could just put a button or um, a clasp at the top there. And I think that would work quite nicely. So um, this, as I say, just feels a lot more me and I think it looks a lot tidier as well. So bear with me a second because then this led me back to the camo pants because I remember um, earlier I was talking about these um, sort of corsages and um, sort of the big flowers that have come in. And then after, after talking about it, found one online, ordered it and arrived today thinking it was grey to go with these. Um, it's actually more of a camo um, sort of grey brownie colour. So uh, that's led me, as I say, back towards the camo. So let me put that outfit on and uh, I'll, I'll be back and show you that one. So I'm back in the camos and um, this actually needs to be hand um, stitched, just the facing needs to be stitched down. So it's looking a little bit slightly wobbly and that's the reason is because it hasn't actually stitched it down yet. Um, so as I was saying, um, this flower arrived today and I think it's just gorgeous, but that then all of a sudden was like, oh, well actually that goes really, really well with this. Um, I could either use it um it could be bold and i could use it to actually clip it together here <clears throat> excuse me as a brooch there just use it on there so i could use it there as um sort of a brooch just to keep it together or equally i could just have um just put a little clip um i was just going to use use a magnetic fastener to go there and then i could have this on the side there i quite like the um the idea of having sort of a girly flower with softens the camos a little bit i think the other thing that then i would possibly do if i've got time because I've, oh, I've got to do it tonight basically because i'm being picked up at god knows what and godly hour by adele in the morning very kindly is to make the this is the 004 the dp 004 which i'm halfway through doing so if i've got time tonight to do this then I, then i will do and i can wear that one underneath or I'll just have a little vest but I mean goodness me the colours are absolutely perfect together really aren't they and I've got some really comfy boots in this colour so at the moment this is this is my front runner but as I say with um less than 12 hours before I'm being picked up I have got to make a decision really so um the other thing is as well these trousers are already hemmed not that it takes long to do it so I think that's that's all I can show you for now so you will have to wait until my next vlog to see what I actually wear to um, to the Stitch Festival because I still haven't decided yet. So it depends what gets finished and how and how I feel in it. To be perfectly honest, a little hint is um, I'm not so keen on the pink jacket. So I could still wear the um, the flowery trousers with these or just wear all this this together. I don't know. I'm going to keep sew sewing and um, see how I go. So anyway. If um, I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody tomorrow, if I see you just come up and say hi, um, I think it's just going to be such a fantastic day. I have got a budget, so I'm not planning on buying too much. Let's wait and see. So next vlog I see, um, I see you will be um, a little bit of a catch up and, uh, and how I got on at the Stitch Festival. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.